All right, everybody, so welcome back to another episode of Colton Posey Fishing. So today we're going to be talking about a subject that, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say like it, it, there's proof or that, um, you know, it 100% exists or that this happens. But, you know, either way, it's something that's been on my mind and I kind of want to see what you guys think or have y'all experienced the same thing or maybe you watch this video and you go fishing and you start catching fish and you start looking at them and you're like, you know, maybe that is what goes on this time of year. But either way, I'm going to explain it. So stay tuned. This is something you don't want to miss. All right, guys, so real quick uh, before we jump into everything, I just want to say all my sponsors linked, um, Thunderhawk Lure, Salty Captain, all that stuff's down in the description below. Uh, you can click on their links to carry you to their websites. I have codes for you guys that you can put in and you can get up to 20% off, um, you know, on your purchase. So either way, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I want to talk about the subject called the false spawn. Okay, um, so this is something that I've kind of noticed over the past several years fishing. Um, you know, we have spring and, you know, in the spring, these fish start moving back into channels and moving back into creeks and pockets and stuff like that. And they get ready to spawn. Um, you know, they'll be up there making their beds and stuff and you'll catch a fish and you'll look at them and the tails of them will be bloody, right? Well, that happens sometimes during the fall. So, you know, I'm kind of wondering, like, especially this time of year, like, I, I went back up in this, like, massive creek, right? So it's just a super long creek. It goes all the way to the back, and uh, it's it's probably, like, three miles long, um, you know, from, like, the midway from where you can see the channel. It's like, or from the main lake. It's, like, three miles all the way back. It, it's a super long creek. Um, you know, in that mid section, in between, like, in between like the middle of the lake and all the way in the back there was tons of fish right so you know i was catching fish on jerk baits they're typical baits that you would use um you know during the spring and in the fall and stuff like that the, the same baits that i show you guys um you know but either way you know some of these fish their tails are bloody and they're up super shallow and kind of like they're making a bed so you know i've kind of always wondered throughout the fall if these fish you know kind of transition into you know spawning zones or spawning areas and go ahead and try to make beds you know and whether they spawn or not for sure i have i don't have a clue I, i've never saw one like on a bed or something like that during the fall maybe one of you guys have um but like the lake that i'm fishing today you know it's, it's smith lake it's a super deep lake I, I mean i don't have good eyes so i'm not going to see them on beds anyways even if they are up on beds I, and i'm not saying that they are but you know it, it's just a fun thought you know i, I kind of wonder because you know the fall is very very similar to the spring you know these fish are very very reactive to very very active baits you know like your jerk baits your spinner baits your square bill crank baits um all different kinds of stuff um they're really really eating and getting ready for winter but at the same time it kind of makes me wonder are they really getting ready for winter or do they think they're going to spawn again and then they realize oh this is not a time for us to spawn winter's coming up and then they're going to move back out to their winter haunt so you know with that being said i mean you, you just start seeing tons of fish um up shallow that's one of the things that i'm noticing like the fish are getting shallower and shallower and shallower um all the way up to you know in pockets where their backs are almost sticking up out of the bottom eating thread fin and that's another thing too you know these shad are moving you know further and further backs into these creeks and stuff the water temperature starting to cool off get a lot cooler uh, in the backs of the creeks especially compared to the main lake and stuff um, and you know the fish are just very very predictable you know like I said you're moving baits and stuff like that it's going to be a huge you know uh, factor and I mean including your any of your soft baits your slower slower moving baits um, you know but like I've explained to y'all a hundred times I'm a power fisherman so you know most of the time I'm moving stuff super quick um, but you know either way like I said I, I mean it's it's kind of like falls getting into that full blast um you know there there's fish on the main there's fish all the way in the mouth of the creek so you know kind of kind of that quarter mark and then like today i get on a pattern where there's just fish loaded on these secondary points and like kind of bouncing in between i find these wolf packs of fish 
um, they'll just start blowing up in the middle of like a little creek channel and stuff. And, and they're typically better fish, you know, anywhere from a pound and a half to three pound fish. Um, and they're just very active and they're really, really hunting. Their bellies are very, very large. Um, all of them, they're, they're just full. You can tell they're just eating a ton, um, you know. So either way, guys, you know, like, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Like um, uh, if my buddy will let me use it, I'm going to take a picture or take his picture off of his Facebook and stuff and post it on here. But it'll, it'll show up somewhere in the video if he'll let me. Um, but, you know, they just caught fish like, a, a, you know, a good limit of fish up here. And, you know, all their tails are bloody. You know, are you experiencing that on your lake? Have you noticed that? You know, or hey, I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow, and then if anything happens, I'll let you know, and then, you know, come back and let me know in the comments. I would just like to know what you guys think. Maybe y'all are having the same experience, or kind of thought about it uh, from that perspective, or something like that. But you know, either way, like I've been saying this entire month, your best bet is gonna be always to start at the mouth and work your way back. Why? Because you're always going to have fish on the main and you're always going to have fish in the creeks. But to help you establish a good solid pattern, you can start at the beginning and work your way back. And then once you find a pattern in between, you know, the mouth and the back of the creek, once you find that pattern, then you can run it all around the lake and then you're going to save a lot more time. But either way, guys, if the video helps you at all or you like this kind of content, hit the like button. It helps me out a whole lot. Also, subscribe. I'm always posting different kind of stuff about bass fishing. I got you covered when it comes to bass fishing. How about that? And then, like I said, always comment down below, you know, uh, whether you got a question, something you want to add, you know, whatever the case may be. I love talking fishing with you guys. I really appreciate every single one of y'all. If you want to become a member, hit that join button. And it's two dollars a month you'll get you know my content exclusively early um you know so up to like a week early and then you can also drop your comments early so uh also you know the merchandise store just opened up so you know you can hit the store button and carry you straight to the website you can check out you know whatever kind of apparel you want 25 shipped to your door either way guys i really appreciate it and i'll see you next time